So we're giving you both sides of what, what debt does, but we're also giving you the good news of what God's word says about you. What, whatever the world does, God still has a plan for you. He wants to bless you more than you want to be yeah, blessed. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to A Father's Heart with Dr. Phil Godot, Dr. Brenda Godot. We are a family-friendly church that teaches the Word of God so you can live an effective Christ-centered life. This is where the Word works when you work the Word. Now for today's message. We've been teaching a series here, 1 Samuel 17 chapter. We've been teaching a series here for a little bit on the area concerning the area of uh, debt elimination or supernatural debt cancellation. Now, the, the issue is and why are we teaching on it and why we stand on it because there's, we need deliverance. Amen. Amen. I just try that one more time. We need deliverance. Yeah. I, know, I know y'all don't feel like it right now, but you, you do. And so we've been teaching on how to get about the importance of understanding the spirit of debt and that debt is not your friend and debt is working not for you, it's working against you. And that we understand that the system, there is a culture of debt that of, we have been raised under to make it think that we don't, we can make it with just this spirit and operation under the spirit of debt. So I've been teaching on that and how to be able to deal with it. You know, I was just thinking about how someone said, well, you know, when are you going to finish up with this series on debt when you get delivered? <laughs> somebody said, well, how long is that going to take? I don't know, until you get delivered, amen. amen. But the issue is, is that I was thinking about a, a pastor. There was a pastor that he was a new pastor in the church, and, uh, and, and they, they, people were all excited about this pastor. And, oh, man, everybody was talking about him. They, and they packed the church out on that Sunday morning, and he ministered a fiery message. And then all of a sudden, they came back Sunday night, and he ministered the same message again. And then he came back that su next Sunday, and he ministered the same message again, ministered the next Sunday night, ministered the same message for about three months. And then they went to the, called the deacon board and said, something the matter with him, he only know one message. He only know one message. And then they, they called him in and said, Pastor, is the, the people complaining because you're only teaching one message. Do you know any more? He said, sure, I know a lot of messages, but why should I teach them something different until they do the first one? See, sometimes we want to move on to something else until we get our deliverance. And faith cometh by, and hearing by, and the more I hear, the more the Word is going to be able to saturate me because it's the Word of God that's going to be your deliverance. And you've got to hear it, and it doesn't come. Deliverance does not come automatically at a time. Sometimes deliverance is a process. And so we got to hear it to get faith enough for it that we can start operating in it in Jesus' name. Good morning. I'm excited about being here in the house of the Lord today. Amen. And what do we come to church for? We come to hear the good news. The good news of the gospel so we can just get built up and understand what God wants to speak to us because there is a difference between good and evil. Yep, yep, it sure is. And uh, the word of God it gives a, a distinct difference and, it, and we're here to help you uh, deliver you from any thoughts where the enemy can get a hold of you in the area of any evil that uh, the enemy would like to uh, keep you entrapped in. So as we're talking about getting out of debt, getting free from it, we want to give you the, the good news and so that you will not fall in the trap of the enemy. And debt is evil. Now, now, watch out. Now, be real careful about that. Okay? Oh, you don't want me to say yeah, Well, you know, people get real sensitive about that kind of stuff, you know. Okay. When you start talking, debt is evil because most people in debt. Well, you're right, but, but we're teaching them so that they can understand why we keep teaching it because it's not a good thing. No. We, but, but, and the reason why it's not a good thing is because it robs people of their faith and it makes them dependent upon uh, upon the system than it does upon God. The Bible says no man can serve two masters. You'll either love the one 
and hate the other one, cleave to the one, or you will despise the other one. You can't serve God and the banking system. So the enemy works real hard to rob you of your faith and your dependency upon God, and that's why it's evil, and also to rob you of the blessings that God has for you. How many of y'all know God's got more for you than what you're experiencing right now? And God said, look what it says there, God loves all those who hate evil. I, do I got anybody in here who hate evil? I hate anything that's going to control me or separate me from God being able to be number one in my life. And so when you get into debt, debt is a controlling factor. What does it say? Proverbs uh, 22 and 7 says, he that, uh, that did you become a servant to the lender? And in other words, one time they say you become a slave to the very one you're borrowing the money from. And, it, and they control you. So a lot of people cannot go to church on Sunday. They can't serve God the way they want to. They can't give the way they want to because you are in what? Yeah. Come on, say it like you ain't scared of it. Yeah. Because you're in debt. And I'm calling you. Yeah. When am I calling you out? Yeah. Because, see, we got to come to the place of what? Hating it. Exactly I hate right. being controlled. I hate being in bondage. And a lot of people can't get delivered because they don't hate it. Uh-oh. Make it plain. Not just in, debt, in, in, in the area of finances, but in sin. A lot of people are, they're uh -oh. saying a lot of people are hurting now, today. I told you to be careful today, Brenda. Yeah, like, there you go again. Because, you know, the people don't talk about sin in churches no more. No, but, amen. <laughs> I try to people hurting. People hurt because they don't hate evil. You keep messing with evil. <laughs> Think you're getting away with evil, and evil is not your friend, debt is not your friend, and in a lot of things that you think that you can get away with, it's just not, you're gonna hurt, you're gonna keep falling into traps, you're gonna keep having to start over again, and all those different things, because you don't hate what God hates.